Good morning. This is Wednesday, May 26th. I'd like to say thank you as my wife and I are back from our staycation vacation. I thank uh, those who stepped in Sunday and did the sound booth and did the preaching and did the music and the greeting. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful to have uh, folks that you can depend on in the fellowship when the pastor and wife uh, had the chance to go away. So thank you to all who helped out Sunday. Also, I want to mention that we had a really great time. We relaxed. Uh, it was just Sam and Ann. It wasn't Pastor and Miss Ann. Just the two of us, and we had a lot of fun. So thanks again. Today's devotion is thinking of prayer as Jesus taught. This is 1 Thessalonians 5, Pray Without Ceasing. Our thinking about prayer, whether right or wrong, is based on our own mental conception of it. The correct concept is to think of prayer as the breath in our lungs and the blood in our hearts. Our blood flows and our breathing continues without ceasing. We are not even conscious of it, but it never stops. And we are not always conscious of Jesus keeping us in perfect oneness with God. But if we are obeying him, he always is. Prayer is not an exercise. It is the life of a saint. Let me say that again. Prayer is not an exercise. It is the life of the saint. Beware of anything that stops the offering of prayer going up. Pray without ceasing. Maintain that childlike habit of offering up prayer in your hearts to God all the time. Uh, a great picture of this is when my kids were little, anytime we went out to eat, they never let me miss saying grace. It was so automatic in their thinking. And that's what Oswald is saying here. Our prayer life needs to be that childlike, where we just automatically have that prayer going on in our thinking. Jesus never mentioned unanswered prayer. He had the unlimited certainty of knowing that prayer is always answered. Do we have, through the Holy Spirit of God, that inexpressible certainty that Jesus had about prayer? Or do we think of the times when it seemed that God did not answer our prayers? Jesus said, everyone who asks receives. That's Matthew 7. In other words, every prayer is answered. Yet we say, but, but God has not answered the prayer in the best way that I can think of sometimes. However, the evidence of the answer is the area we want it in. When we say that, we're thinking how we want that prayer to be shaped. And it may not always immediately follow the answer. Do we expect God to answer prayer? The danger we have here is that when we want that we want to water down what Jesus said to make it mean something that aligns with our common sense, this thought of how the answer should be. But if we, if it were only common sense, what he said would never be worthwhile. The things that Jesus taught about prayer are supernatural truths that he revealed to us. I think that's a beautiful picture when we think about prayer being a supernatural truth and how every prayer is answered. The secret is to get away from shaping it the way that we want the prayer to be answered. So the challenge I have is the prayer life that we saints of God have. Is it an exercise, merely an exercise? Or is it something that we saints really live and breathe? Think of that air in our lungs and the blood in our heart. I challenge you today, that the next time you say grace over your food, this breaks that habit of prayer being just an exercise. When you say grace today over your food, really stop and express a prayer of thanksgiving over that food. Really stop and think about it. It changes how we pray. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, I do, deeply for this chance to share with my brothers and sisters. And Lord, I pray that we would never allow the prayer, the, uh, the gift that we have of, of joining you through Jesus to become merely an exercise, that we could indeed see it as the breath in our lungs and the blood in our heart. Thank you again, Lord, for this wonderful gift, and may we use it as your children. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.